Hi, YouTube family. Hi, my, YouTube family. <laughs> my name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. You guys had so many amazing name suggestions for our camper, and we're so excited. We're probably going to put a poll on our dashboard so you guys can vote which one you like the most. You guys are so creative. It was so fun to read all of your suggestions in our video yesterday. We have a playlist on our channel of all of this series of our camper renovations. So if you've missed any of our videos, you can check that out there. But it is a bright, sunny day today, and we have a full day of work ahead of us. I have big plans on what I want to do to the exterior of the camper. I know for sure I want to paint the upper part of the trailer all white, but since we still have work and ceiling to do up there, I'm not going to touch that quite yet. But because the outside's nice and clean, I'm going to add my color that I'm going to do from the stripe all the way down to the bottom, all around the peri perimeter of the camper. So we're gonna do a quick walk around and show you where my stripe's gonna go. It's gonna go like this. Are you gonna do the door? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm gonna leave the door for now, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way around. And then all the way around. <laughs> Do you know what color I'm going to do? I do. You do? <laughs> you do? Yeah. yeah. So I decided I want to keep the outside of the camper a little bit neutral, but still giving it the style that I kind of have in my head. And so I'm going to paint the bottom lower half of the camper all black. That way when I do any monogramming, I'll be able to use white, which will really contrast against the black. And with the white top, I think it will look super fresh. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. You're sure you want it this color? Yeah. Okay. Let the taping begin. <laughs> so fun. I'm gonna take the wheel shrouds off and then so Elish can, I can get this caulking off and then Elish can paint it underneath and then we'll paint this too, right? Sounds good. Get this looking cool in no time. Bye bye cream and brown. <laughs> so sunny today. It's beautiful. I'm loving it. This is an amazing day to work on the camper. We've been asking for some warmer sunshine, so we got it. I guess our YouTube family members sent us all the warmth they had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Such a nice day. I can't even see you like four or five feet away because it's so sunny. Cream and brown. Can't wait for this to look brand new outside. It's sticking really well to the metal of the, what I, what's this, my vinyl? Yep. Vinyl? Sticking really well to the vinyl, it's just like you can really feel that the tape is adhering, which means I'm gonna get a nice crisp wine when I pull it off after. So I'm pretty excited that that's really sticking really well. Never taped a camper off, so I didn't know how it was gonna stick. <laughs> making it really easy to do the straight line because there's a little rib right where I want the color to change. So it's gonna make it really easy. Once I get the black done and I wanna do the white, I just need to do right up to where the little lip is and it doesn't have to be like that super seamless. It'll be crisp. Yeah, so it's gonna look really crisp without even really having to do too much. I'm going to do some edging first with a brush and then I'm gonna start rolling the camper. I'm so excited to get to this part. This is just gonna change the whole look of the camper. So I'm pretty excited about what this is gonna look like.
making sure that it's nice and smooth because it's drying so fast in the sun. So any globs will be there, right? Because they're drying so fast. Yeah. Philip's going to remove the license plate cover. That way I can spray paint it black. I don't want to have all this other detailing that's on it. And so we're going to keep using this one because it's not cracked. So when we get our license plate, we'll be able to just put our own back in here and still be able to reuse this one. Uh, wrong size. <laughs> Even just one tiny little bit of a coat down there, I can already see that it's transforming the outside of the camper. So I'm so excited. Are you excited about the black? I love the black. So good, right? Yeah. It'll look so much brighter. Also, when we put the white up top, when we get to that step, it will really, really freshen up the outside look. And new tires, because let's be honest, we're not rolling anywhere with these ones. <laughs> We are coming up on almost a hundred thousand subscribers. A ah, hundred thousand subscribers. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. We are just like over the moon that we're almost at our goal of a hundred thousand. So if you're not already part of our YouTube family, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything in this series that we're working on. Uh, YouTube is also telling us that almost half of the people that are watching our content have yet to hit the subscribe button. What are, what you, are you waiting, waiting for? for? <laughs> we're going to go to the next interior project for the camper. And and so what we're going to do while our paint is drying on the exterior is start building some of the benches that we're going to need for the seating of the kitchen area. And since the upcycled one we tried to purchase the other day was a total flop, Big time. we decided that it's just another project that we can do on our own camper and build it how we really want. And because we don't want to block too much of the window space in the kitchen, we're excited that we can actually customize and build this. I don't know why we didn't just do that from the beginning, but we just like to upcycle whenever possible. So since that didn't work out and we're not going shopping anywhere, it's a perfect opportunity to build some benches. Let's start building. Back goes out to 36 inches. It's still not wide enough for two people to sit. Right. And then if you're, if it goes out to here and you're standing here, you won't be able to open the fridge. And if we make two seats here and seats in front of the window instead with a table that can remove then we don't have the bed option quite like we planned. Right, the table into the bench. The table into the bench seating. So now we see why they took this out. <laughs> so we decided that since we do spend a lot of time sitting all four of us at the table that we're willing to sacrifice some of the floor space to actually have a full size banquet here. And we did some research online and we did find that although we are in 1986, Jayco. The 1988 is the exact same floor plan, the one that we found online as this, and it actually shows the banquet right up until only 24 inches wide space of like a little alley in front of the kitchen. And so because I'm really going to be in the kitchen or only one of us adults at one time, not at the exact same time that we're all eating, we think that although we won't have a huge amount of space in front of the kitchen, that having that table space also to use to kind of complement the kitchen as like workspace in the kitchen is gonna be beneficial as well. So we're gonna leave our original plan. We're just gonna adjust our dimensions just a little bit. And then when we do get the mechanism for the table in the middle, it will fold down and be able to be a full size bed for one of the boys. So we also have the materials at home right now to build what we're thinking we're gonna do. I think this is really our only option. Uh, unless we reconfigure the entire camper, which is not what we want to do. So no. I'm definitely not relocating the kitchen and the camper to a different spot. And we're also wanting to be able to know that we can kind of like look out this side window when we're eating and not have our backs to the window because our L-shaped bench idea with the table in front is really great and you know more effective with floor space means that we're not really looking out this gorgeous huge window that we have when we're eating, which depending on where we're parked is going to be probably a nice view. Yeah. So I don't want to have our backs to the window. So I think this is our best option. Want to get building? Let's build. We're sure? Yeah, okay. I'm ready. We drew up a little diagram of the measurements that we thought we were going to use for the seating. And so what I'm doing now is just visualizing it on the wall, like where the back of our seating is going to go and then how tall our actual seat benches will be. In addition to how high the foam is going to be that we're gonna actually be sitting on once I get to that upholstery. And so we're taking all that into consideration 
And so the back of this one side bench is going to be right along the door here. And then we're making it just a little bit tall enough that we can hang some hooks or something on the back that we'll be able to use for storage. And then we're going to be making the seats be able to open up so that we can put the bedding storage and stuff inside them as well. Since we have taken out some of the storage in the camper, we need to make sure that we take into consideration adding some storage spaces back. And so we're going to make the back height of our seating 36 inches and we're going to do our seat at 14 inches plus our four inches thick of foam. So we're gonna have about an 18 inch height seat. So we need to make one here, space for the table, and then we're going to have one go on this side, which is also gonna have the flip open for storage. And then there'll also be some storage space, I think at the back here. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to come up with a solution on what we're gonna do with that kind of triangular shape that's gonna be behind that. Um, but I think it's just another opportunity to have a little bit of a storage space. So if we go 36 inches on this side, we're really in a good height for all of us shorties <laughs> to be able to sit. Some of us are that tall. So I think that's a perfect height for our family. So my thought was we're only very limited to how many two by twos we actually have at home right now. And so because this is gonna be the back and I'm not gonna have any backing on this, facing the front part of the back kitchen Camper. wall. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yeah. Um, then I'm going to screw the two by twos along the front here, making a flat face to be able to put the quarter inch plywood covering the whole thing, leaving the back exposed because it's gonna be facing the back wall. So it doesn't matter. That way I'm not using the other two two by twos that I need for this side, which is more imperative that that's more narrow and has a backing on both sides. Upcycling wood. <laughs> All right, so I need to pilot myself some holes and then get this screwed together. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> That's what my kids always tell me. We decided to make this, or I should say, I decided to make this just a slight bit taller than the counter, although it looks really silly right now. When we have a countertop on there, and then we have a little casing on the top of this, I'm thinking it will all level itself to be basically the same height. So we're gonna see how that plays out later on. But what we're doing right now is we're now attaching it to the side walls. I am going to be painting and making sure that that whole back area there is all nice and neat and we have some stuff to do in the corner there but we're just trying to get sort of the base of this bench created so that we can kind of go from there with the rest of the layout of the camper and so we're just going to screw this on to the outer parts and then build the front bench part. scrap ends from the blanket ladder projects that I did. I kept all the pieces and so now we're able to use them for this. So we have the base of our main bench at the back all built there. And so then what we're gonna be doing is doing some quarter inch plywood along the back, some quarter inch plywood along the front bottom there and on the sides to frame it all in. I might do something on front of that, but I'm not sure yet. And then we're gonna be doing a half inch plywood seat lid that can actually hinge up and down to be able to have storage on the inside. We are gonna do one more brace in the middle there just for some extra support before we do that part for the seating. but that's sort of just a good head start on doing one of our benches. So we're gonna be doing the same thing that we did on this side, but just using the two by twos on this side. 
we'll definitely be tackling that in the next day mm -hmm. or so. And then we'll be able to measure and figure out where exactly our table is going to go. So I'm pretty excited about the way that this turned out. I can envision it in my head with the upholstered seating and everything. So it's just a really good start. And I'm happy with how far it's sticking out here. I know that still gives me lots of room. And when we look at the imprints of or the footprints of the 1988 camper, it's really leaving this same amount of space. So as we kind of get each of the steps done here, it's kind of all coming together. So I'm pretty happy about that. I want to also update you on the outside of the trailer. I decided to do a second coat on the outside of the camper here so I can really get a good look on what this is going to look like when it's finished. So it needs a couple of touch up spots, but I think it overall turned out really well. And then what I'm going to do is to keep working my way around the camper, but just getting two coats on one side gives me a really good insight. So I'm pretty excited about the way that this looks. And then I can envision when this cream is gone and it's just fresh white all the way up and over the window frames and everything are going to be white and all the vents and pretty much anything from this line up. And then when this blue tape is gone, obviously you're going to really see a nice seamless line between the black and the white, which is awesome contrast. And then my monogramming will probably be white on the black or I'll do black on the white. I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do yet, but I have an idea of how I want our little logo idea to kind of look so this is pretty exciting getting a little bit of the exterior done thank you guys so much for watching episode 10 10 episodes in our series already we're so excited to be able to show you all the steps of this camper transformation i think it's coming along really good and our in our vision that we have is starting to come to life which is awesome to bring you guys along on our journey thank you so much for everyone's support we're trying to upload every single day for you guys to show you what we're up to because we're spending our full days out here working on our renovation so thank you so much for watching we love you guys and we'll see you on tomorrow's video bye